MAGA is not in need of like the autopsy that we needed after the failed efforts of Romney Ryan. MAGA is a living, red-blooded movement of patriotic Americans calling for a new generation of champions. I can tell you that the hardest working and most talented member of the United States Congress is an Ohio man named Jim Jordan. I'd vote for Jim Jordan for speaker, I'd vote for Jim Jordan for Pope, and I'm not even sure he's Catholic. I, I have aspired to be the Robin to his Batman. I could tell you we were recently walking from votes to committee and he went his way and this couple bounded up to me, strapped down with fanny packs and Washington visitor maps and they said, that was Jim Jordan. I said, yes. And you're Matt Gates. Yes, yes. And you're both on the Judiciary Committee. Yes, yes, we are. And you're both best friends with President Trump. Yes, we both know the President very well. And you both stood in the way of the Russia hoax. Yeah, that was very important work. And then there were those crazy false sex scandal allegations. I said, no, that was Jordan. <laughs> but socialism will hurt our nation far more than imagined smears and scandal. Fortune favors those who serve the people. And that describes MAGA, not the current president. I have a question. What do you think of your current congressman, Anthony Gonzalez? Do you think he's likely to prevail in a re-election campaign? No. Oh, no. Well, I, I, I have to ask then, you know, is it likely that the Anthony Gonzalez congressional career might mirror the Anthony Gonzalez NFL career? Whole lot of hype, first round draft pick, out in four years. <laughs> The way forward is not a repackaged version of Paul Ryan's better way, and it's certainly not the Green New Deal and the socialist way. Isn't it obvious by now? It is our America First ideas, not theirs, that fill the rallies and sell the tickets. I am told that the Strongsville GOP has never sold more tickets than for today's event. Congratulations to all of you. And look at who you invited to your state, Matt Gates and Candace Owens. I'm guessing you're not quite the establishment crowd on all fronts if that's your guest list. If I were president, I would make Candace Owens the head of the Republican Party. We would grow with more spirit, we would tell more truth, we would meet, reach more people, and we would grow in legions beyond our imagination. And if Candace becomes president, which is probably far more likely, I think I'd make a great attorney general. I'd be easy on medical marijuana and tough on big tech. Wouldn't that be a nice reversal? There's still a lot of swamp left to drain. And if you want to drain the swamp, maybe hire a Florida man. We've drained lots of swamps before, and we know how to finish the job. But America first. America first is not just a slogan or a spirit. It is an agenda. We believe that it is immoral to take money from our citizens and give it to other nations who hate us. We believe that American citizenship is so precious that it should not be given to people who come to our country illegally. We believe that the trade policy of this country should benefit Main Street, not Wall Street. We believe that the country that we live in and love should have the capability to defeat any foe, to vanquish any enemy and win every war, but that we shouldn't send our best and most patriotic to forever wars for unknowable gain. We believe that critical race theory or any other program meant to teach us to hate one another based on identity should be abolished. We believe that boys in skirts shouldn't play women's sports. 
That one is so obvious, I can't even believe I have to say it out loud, but apparently it's 2021, and now we do. We believe that cheap Chinese goods often make cheap American men, and we believe there is nothing honorable about Apple and Walmart relying on Chinese slaves to make our products. The goods they send us aren't that good, and they come at the price of our communities. We believe it is more important to be effective than woke, and we believe that America never owes an apology for exceptionalism. And so if you believe these things, if you believe that America is a wonderful country, not intractably racist, if you believe that MAGA is patriotic, not deplorable, if you stand for the flag and kneel in prayer, then welcome, my fellow patriots. You're in the right place. America First is the movement for you. But we mustn't let our fellow Americans fall for the siren song of collectivism, globalism, liberalism, socialism, and so many of the other isms that are trying to destroy our country, endlessly promoted by the America last media. Trump remains the leader of our party, and ours is a party and a nation still worth fighting for. He showed us that our politics is no longer just the red team against the blue team. It's the establishment against the rest of us. And there are more of us than there are of them. We are the strongest, most powerful movement in American politics today. As the 45th president reminds us, we are the elites now. There are many powerful forces trying to bring Trump and his allies down, but we will not let that happen. For there is no place to run, no distant land to convert to our purposes should America fail. I love this great country with all of my heart. I know that all of you do as well. Let's fight with all we have for her. God bless you, and let's go get them. <laughs>